With any content management system, once you've gone over the basics of using that system, the best way to learn it and master it is to jump in and begin building things. Here we're going to do that with Drupal 8 by building a website for guitar enthusiasts. This tutorial assumes you have a basic understanding of Drupal 8. If you don't, the best way to get acclimated is to watch our Drupal 8 beginner class. Once you have your new Drupal site installed, if you want to go ahead and set your title to something similar to what I have here, the way to do that is to go to configuration and site information. And here you can change your site name. You can add a slogan if you'd like, and there are a few other things you can play around with. And make sure you save your configuration when you're done. Once that's done, typically on a newly installed Drupal site, the best first place to go is going to be the status report page. If we go to reports, we'll see status report right here. And Drupal is going to tell us a few things around here. You may see a few warnings and error messages. We're going to look at a few of these. If you're getting uh, an error about your configuration files and it says something about settings.php uh, being writable or its permissions being wrong, that's an easy fix. You need to go to your site's directory, whether that's in your operating system's window manager or cPanel or even the command line or whatever. Here's our site's root directory. You go to sites, default, settings.php, and on that settings.php file, you want to make sure there are no write permissions. It should be read only all around. If we go back here again, for Drupal core update status, if it says it hasn't checked yet or if it failed to get update data, you can usually go here and click to check manually. My setup specifically uh, right now is having some issues with that, but normally you can click check manually and it will run a quick check to tell you whether any of your modules or whether Drupal core itself needs to be updated. But once again, my setup right now is having a few issues with that, so I'm going to back out of that myself. Another thing to be aware of, and this is new to Drupal 8, is trusted host settings. I'm not going to go too in-depth as to what this is, but it helps you with some potential security issues on your site. If you're getting this warning, this is mostly uh, important on live sites, on development sites, it's not so much. But we're going to go through it very quickly just to show you how to get rid of this error. If you go back once again to sites default settings, go ahead and open settings.php. And around line 665, I believe, yes, we get some information for trusted host configuration. And down here on line 678 currently, it gives you some example code with settings, trusted host patterns. We're going to copy these three lines and then go to the end of your settings document. And at the very end of your settings.php file, you'll see something that looks like this, settings, install file, config directories. We're going to add a new line here and paste those three lines of code that we copied just a second ago, and then remove each line probably begins with space, asterisk, space. We're gonna remove those first three parts of the line. So space, asterisk, space, and do that for each of these three lines. So it should look like this. Settings, trusted host patterns, example.com. It wants you to fill in your own domain right here instead of example. What you would also want to do is copy this line and paste it and get rid of the www backslash dot. And once you do these two things, then you're on a live site, then your trusted host patterns setup is fine. For us, it's not that important since we're on a local development environment, but what we can do is delete everything between the caret and the dollar sign and type in localhost, and that should take care of this potential problem that Drupal is sort of yelling at us about. If we refresh the page here, you see that's taken care of. We're not going to worry about uh, PHP opcode caching and everything should be fine at this point. So right now our site is set up and ready to go. We've taken care of any potential problems that it has and we're ready to jump in and start actually building our website.